Now to what could be a turning point in the Israel-Hamas war. Israel is making troop withdrawals, but that could lead to another offensive. Tonight, we're getting a look at the destruction being left behind. Satellite imagery here showing a region just reduced to rubble as people traveling back to their homes and neighborhoods say it's all unrecognizable. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with what could be coming next. Dick. What could be coming next? The war passed the six-month mark yesterday, and even though Israel has withdrawn some of its troops, an offensive into the city of Rafa will be happening soon. This is infuriating Palestinian Americans in our area. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Demonstrators supporting Palestinians in Gaza turned out in Patterson, New Jersey, blasting Israel over the war and urging more support from the U.S. government. It's time for our president, our government, our state and local officials to say and do what America truly stands for. That is human justice, human rights for all. The protest comes as Israel has withdrawn most of its troops from southern Gaza. The brief pause has allowed thousands of Palestinians to move around freely for the first time in months. In the city of Han Yunus, many went to find their houses and instead picked through rubble for their belongings. I couldn't find my bed or my clothes, said Malak Mahmoud. I lost my books. Israel's military says it has only one division in the Gaza Strip, the other left over the weekend. It says they are recuperating. And today, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he set a date for the invasion of Rafah despite U.S. opposition. But Netanyahu didn't give specifics. Israelis and Palestinians are in, in what I would call a strategic cul-de-sac. And right now, uh, I see no way out. Former U.S. State Department Middle East negotiator Aaron David Miller says any agreement between the two sides would require ceasing hostilities and releasing the hostages. And he says that doesn't seem likely. But that's going to be a very tough lift, and it is not going to happen anytime soon. Israel said over 400 aid trucks made it into Gaza today, the most since the beginning of the war. That comes just days after President Biden told Netanyahu in a phone call that the humanitarian situation in Gaza was unacceptable. Now, the U.S. says there's a ceasefire on the table for Hamas. An Israeli official told CBS News that the negotiations were advancing, but a spokesman for Hamas said negotiations in Cairo were actually a setback.